Hey guys, it's been a little bit, just getting over a cold. Um, today we got a pretty interesting video. I'm gonna <clears throat> see if I can't shoehorn this 95 airbox onto my truck. Cause right now it's running a, uh, just the, <laughs> just the <laughs> air filter right on the turbo. Yeah, that's no good. So we're gonna see if we can try and get this to fit. Might need a little PVC pipe, might, might need some tubing, so we'll see. Okay, so <clears throat> I totally did not just set this up to make it look like I didn't already start digging into it. This is totally just the first shot, <laughs> not, nothing's loosened or anything. So the problem was basically the air filter was hitting the alternator a little bit. Let me just, uh, just kind of rubbing it right here where I have it wired into the regulator. So, I don't know, like I said, this is the first time never mocking this thing up. Oh, that came out really easy. And I'm thinking, well, it's not, it's reversed, it's gonna go like, whoop, like that. I think that'll work. I think I can angle it up to avoid all this shit here. But if I ever run a big honking air filter, I might need to figure something else out. But this'll probably work. So that's gonna get cleaned out. And, uh, really, this looks like it's just going to be, like, two fucking, um, close clamps or whatever, so. Okay, we'll get her on and see what, see what she looks like. Okay, after many hours of fucking around, um, like, ten minutes, it's not gonna, not gonna work the way I want it to. Problem is, is that this lip here is rubber, okay, and so is this lip here. That's rubber. And so when they get mated together with this hose clamp, it's deforming the whole boot. And it's I'm afraid I'm going to let dust particles and dirt and bullshit in. So that's not going to work. So I need to find something to stiffen up the inside of this filter. That way the boot can slide over it and have somewhere solid to clamp on. And I know this is not the way to do it. I'm sure there's a way, best way to do it. And... Um, I try to I try to make this as least hack as possible, this truck. Um, but so this is what I came up with. Went to the old uh, rural farm supply store and picked me up uh, one of these uh, here PVC couplers. So my genius idea is to stuff that on there, real tight like, and then just cut this here. So cue um, getting molten plastic on my hands. So I couldn't find my safety glasses, so we're gonna have to deal with the uh, ultraviolet light things. So always wear proper protection, not what I'm doing. But I don't feel like getting probably really hot pieces of metal or uh, PVC in my eyeball. So we're gonna deal with this. So I marked it out where it's gonna be choked up out at the, at the filter. I think I'm gonna cut a little big because uh, I want to and you're not the boss of me. Okay, well my wife will be probably pleased to know that, that the fumes coming off of this probably probably knocked about 10 to 15 years off my life. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sandpaper and deburr this because we don't want any kind of filter uh, uh, particles getting into the filter and shit. What do you fucking know? I have the wrong grit. What is it, 220? Always. I've always got the... <laughs> All right. That'll work. Everything's reasonably smooth. Rule of thumb is for deburring. Would you rub your willy across it? If the answer is no. Keep deburring. <laughs> So there's this cocksucker here. And we'll just uh, stuff that on there. Oh yeah. Put pretty side out. Look at that. Snipes together. Look at that. That way, 
It's got a nice firm spot to seal on. Come on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's get that fancy uh, Spectre, <laughs> Spectre uh, emblem facing out. Keep the audience engaged, come on. This is exciting. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll stab myself with the fuck, mm, with the fucking screwdriver. For some reason I got the shakes today. See, look at that. I almost fucking died. I got the shakes today. I don't know what that's all about. Now, the old turp ski wiped down. I need to get silencer ring because uh, I'm an old man and I don't want loud. I want nice and quiet. Reliable. Quietness. At least from the cab. I just thought of a Nice little title. These fucking flatheads are the dumbest fucking invention. Who the fuck is the dumb sh Yeah, I don't see that ever biting me in the ass later. This is a $200,000, 200,000 mile fix, baby. Fuck yeah. Engine bay looks cleaner too. Fuck off. I'm done with you. Subscribe, please.